Hey guys, today we are going to be translating Hestia's front page. We'll start by installing the plugin, so let's hover over plugins and click add new. Now on this page, we just want to search for polylang and we'll install and activate the first result. Now on this page, we'll use this drop down menu to select our first language. Let's use English US. And once we have it, we'll click add new language. We'll add another one and this one will be Spanish. And again, we'll click add new language, then continue. Now we'll also allow polylang to translate media. We'll hit continue again. Now on the next page, you'll need to choose your default language. And in my case, it's already English. So I'll click on continue. So here it's confirming that the homepage is already in English and it will also be prepared in Spanish. So we'll click on continue. And finally, we are done with the setup. We just need to click on return to dashboard. All right, so now we are on our WordPress dashboard and from here we can go ahead and view all of our pages. So I'll click on the pages link in the menu on the left. So here we have two versions of our homepage. We have the English one and right below it, we have the Spanish translation and there's the Spanish flag. And we can also see the difference in the name, which is Espanol. So we can go ahead and view it. We'll see that the content has not been translated as yet but the admin bar has been translated and the URL indicates that we are using the Spanish version. So we'll go back and we'll take a look at the English version. I'll click on view. And there we have an English admin bar and the URL is basically standard. So let's go ahead and customize the menu. We'll add a language picker to easily switch between English and Spanish. So we'll go to menus and here we have our primary menu. Now, the first thing we need to do is add our language picker. So we are just gonna go to screen options at the top. We'll just go over here and we'll check language switcher. Now under add menu items, we are gonna expand the language switcher tab. We'll check languages, add to menu. And now we have a languages tab over here in the center. We'll expand it and let's check displays as a dropdown and displays flags. And once we're done, we'll click on save menu. Now let's visit our website. I'll just open it in a new tab. And there we have our language picker as a dropdown menu. If we click Spanish, we'll get the Spanish version, but we don't have the same menu on the Spanish version. It's only on the English version, so we need to go back and turn it on. So once we close this tab, we'll just scroll down on this page and under menu settings, we'll go ahead and check primary menu Espanol. And we also need to save the menu once we're done. Let's go back to our home page. So here's the English version. We'll switch to Spanish. And now we have the option to switch back to English from Spanish. All right, so now I'll show you how to translate your page content. So we'll start by going to the customizer. And once we're in there, we'll go to front page sections. Now we'll go to features. And here we have our section title. Right now it says why our product is the best. Now let's replace this with features. And for the section subtitle, I'll type in something random like short subtitle. Okay, now we'll scroll all the way down on this page. We'll go to the section that says what clients say. And we can just replace this one with testimonials. All right, so I think for now, this should be good. We are gonna be translating two sections. So we'll just go ahead and click on the publish button in the customizer. Now I'll just go ahead and duplicate this tab. And in the new tab, I'll go back to the WordPress dashboard. Now, once we're back on the dashboard, we'll go to languages and then translations. All right, so what we're seeing right now is a list of strings. We can see there are names, groups, and translations. So now I'll just try to translate features to Spanish using Google. So our translation is now ready. So I'll go back to the strings and I'll type in features. Then I'll click search translations. Now on this page, we have fields for both versions. So here's English and there's Spanish. We are gonna replace the Spanish one with what we copied. And we can go ahead and do the same thing for a short subtitle. We can just copy this and translate it as well. So. Let's see what it turns out to be. Okay, so we are gonna copy this and let's go back and we'll paste it in this field. And now once we are done, we'll click on save changes. All right, so once we are done saving, we can move on to the final section, which is testimonials. And by the way, I'm only using Google because it's quick and easy, but another service or maybe even a native speaker could provide a more accurate translation. All right, so once you're done, make sure you save your changes. And now I'll just go back to the homepage of our website. So this should open up in English at first. And as we scroll, we'll see the English version of our content. Let's switch to Spanish. And here we have the Spanish version of the strings we translated. 
All right, so now I'll show you how to translate logos. We'll start by going to the media library and on the next page, we'll see two different logos. We have white and this green one. Now let's go to the customizer. Now we'll go to site identity and here we are gonna click on select logo, then media library. Let's choose the white one and then we'll click on select in the bottom right hand corner, then skip cropping. We can now see our white logo. Let's add a transparent one as well. So we'll click on select, skip cropping, and then we'll click on publish. So once we are done publishing, we need to go back to strings translations. So I'll go ahead and click on this X to close the customizer. And that will take us back to the media library. And I'll still need access to these images. So I'll just go ahead and duplicate this tab. Okay, now I'll go back to the first one and I will hover over languages on the left. I'll go to translations. And once again, we have our list of strings. So let's type in logo and we'll click on search translations. Okay, so here's the string for our logo. Now, for example, if we take a look at English, we'll see a value of 36. And this is basically the ID attached to the actual media item. So if we look in this URL field, we'll see that this is 36. So we need to get the one for the alternative logo, which in our case is green. If we click on it, we'll see that its ID is 35. So we'll copy this 35 or you could just type it in. Now we'll go back to translations and we'll change Spanish to 35. Let's save our changes. Now it's updated. Let's visit our site one more time. Now you'll see by default, our logo is white. So let's go ahead and switch to Spanish to see what happens. So we now have the green logo when viewing the Spanish version of our site. All right, so now you should know how to translate the front page of Hestia, both content and media with Polylang. Thanks for watching and see you next time.